the students. This is another computer studies class. And the topic we have here is ICT based gadgets. The objectives of this lesson are number one. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to give me a definition of an ICT gadget. Secondly, you should be able to list some ICT gadgets. And lastly, you should be able to explain how each ICT gadget can be used. I want to first state here that what is ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technologies. It refers to technologies that can provide access to information through telecommunications. We know that the world today is a global village. And ICT is an important tool in the society. From the definition, we said that it refers to technologies that provide access to information through telecommunications. Nowadays, for you to have access to some basic information in the society, you have to make use of some gadgets, which are ICT-based. And secondly, we said that ICT is an umbrella term that includes any communication device or application which encompasses radio, television, cellular phones, computer and network hardware and software, satellite systems, and so on, as well as the various services and applications associated with them, such as video conferencing and distance learning. Invariably, we are saying that if we are talking about ICT gadgets or ICT, there is no way we can not talk about all these all this, uh, radio, television, cellular phones, and computer nowadays. Now, I want to state here that what is a gadget? When you're talking about a gadget, what does it mean? A gadget is a small tool, such as a machine, that has a particular function. When we're talking about a gadget, we're talking about an equipment, a tool that you can you can use to perform a particular function or to satisfy a particular need of yours. To cap it off, what is an ICT gadget? An ICT gadget is an equipment that can be used to aid information and communication. It means these tools or gadgets that we are talking about will help us to enhance the process of passing across information and also to communicate in the society. So, this ICT gadget that we're, that we're going to consider today, they are very important in the society in order to aid information and communication. I have on the board some examples of ICT-based gadgets. Number one, we have the computer. That is the number one gadget that is very important in the society. Everywhere you go, offices, schools, banks, you, you come across a computer. Secondly, the ATM, which is known as the automated teller machine. And mostly in our banks today, you walk in there with, um, and you see the ATM, and you cannot always have, uh, do one or two things on the ATM, instead of going to the, uh, to the uh, teller. The third one is the automated cash register. We have the radio, television, mobile phone, and fax machine. So we are going to explain all these gadgets, how they work, their importance in the society, and maybe where they can be found or used. The first is the computer. What is a computer? A computer can be seen as a set of electronic equipment that accepts data as inputs. It processes them with the aid of predefined instructions called programs and produces useful 
output for management use. Now, the key was there. Uh, number one, assess data as input. You have to put in the data. Number two is it processes this data, and third, thirdly, it produces useful outputs. So, when we talk about a computer, this is just a, a, a picture of how a computer looks like. Up here we have the desktop computer, and down here we have the laptop computer. The desktop computer comprises of, this is uh, the monitor. We have the monitor here, we have the system units. This is the keyboard, and this is the mouse. Now, all these things that you are seeing here on the desktop computer is embedded inside the laptop computer. Now, when we say a computer accepts data, how does it, how does it accept this data? It accepts data using the input devices. And the input devices are the, the keyboard and the mouse. If you want to put in any data into the computer, you mix it up the keyboard and the mouse. The keyboard can help you to put in letters, words, uh, uh, letters, numbers, special characters such as uh, full stop, comma, and so on. Now, the mouse, you can use the mouse to click on anything on the monitor. This is the monitor. The Now, the processing. Let's move to the processing aspects. I've explained the, the, uh, the area of the asset data. Now to the processing. How does the computer process this data? Everything is processed inside this uh, hardware known as system unit. It is processed inside this hardware known as system unit. And the major component inside the system unit that does the processing is known as the central processing unit otherwise known as CPU. And how does the computer produce an output? It produces the output with the use of the monitor. The output appears on the screen of the monitor. We can see the monitor here, and on the laptop, this is the monitor screen. This represents the keyboard that we have here. And this one is used as mouse that we have here. All this system unit is inside uh, this area of the laptop. The next gadget is the automated teller machine. Automated teller machine is an electronic telecommunications device that enables the customers of a financial institution to perform financial transactions without the need for a human cashier, clerk, or bank teller. Now, before now, we say that when you enter into the bank, you have to first, you have to first go to the probably the cashier that will start opening one uh, one document or the other. But today, you find that if you enter the bank, especially when you want to make withdrawals, you can just approach your ATM machine. It is stated maybe you can it can be placed outside or inside the banking hall. And how can you make use of this ATM machine? The first thing you need is that you have your ATM card. This is an ATM card. You can see the user slotting in the ATM card into the ATM slot. Without this ATM card, you may not be able to assess probably your account in the bank, or you may not be able to have access, I mean, using the ATM machine. Now, after slotting in the ATM card, it prompts you to enter your PIN. Your PIN. Your PIN is personal to you. You know it. You have to enter it. It is usually a four-digit number. After this, the ATM will prompt you to make use of any, I mean, depending on what you have come to do in the bank, probably to withdraw your cash or to check your balance 
or to change your pin and so on and so forth. So with this, you can see the user here is pointing at the cash withdrawal section of the ATM machine. And after which, state, after stating the amount that you need, then you can always receive your cash through the cash slots. And we can see the user of the ATM here collecting his cash. And this is one way in which we can make use of the ATM, otherwise known as automated teller machine. The next gadget we need to consider is the automated cash register. The automated cash register is an electronic device for calculating and recording sales transactions and an attached drawer for storing cash. The cash register also usually prints uh, the receipts. Looking at the cash, this is a prototype of a cash, an automated cash register. Instead of you, I mean, these cash registers mostly are used in the supermarkets. When you walk in into a supermarket and you want to buy some goods, this automated cash register will help maybe the retailer or the owner of the supermarket to be able to assess your goods in terms of checking the genuity of the goods using the barcode reader. Secondly, it can rec it records the amount. It records the amount and the cash is being stored inside the cash uh, drawer. This is called a cash drawer. And this is a, a, an illustration of how we can make use of the uh, ACR, the automated cash register in this supermarket. We can see this, the, the, the retailer using the ATM card in order to withdraw probably money from the, the, the buyer's account. This, AT, this ACR, automated cash register, is also known as a point of sale system. We call it a point of sale system. Whereby, even if, if you don't have a cash, you can always go in there with your ATM and it will withdraw the money and credit, um, credit it into the well, retailer's account. Or if you are going with the cash, it's going to store the cash into the cash drawer. And it can help the owner of the supermarket to take an inventory of the goods in the supermarket because it's a form of software. software. Every, the, the quantity of the goods, everything has been, it has, it has been embedded into the system, this point of sale system. And it can help to take the inventory of the goods. And also payment of money, keeping it inside the drawer, or maybe withdrawing it using the ATM and crediting it inside the, uh, the owner's account. The next ICT gadget is a radio. And I believe a radio you know, is a very common gadget even in our homes. We can see them around us. We use them to listen to probably news and so on. And from the definition, we said a radio is a wireless electronic gadget that transmits audio signals. Majorly, you use a radio to listen to, the, uh, to, 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 to information, to news. And that is why it is one of the ICT-based gadgets today, because it is used to pass across information. You listen to some information through the radio. Therefore, we can consider it as an information gadget. A communication gadget, in the sense that, you know, nowadays, you can even call in into a program and you can air your views on the radio. And that, is, that even makes it a form of communication gadget as well. So, a radio is also an ICT based gadget, which transmits the audio, you know, just for you to listen to the radio or to, I mean, to hear what the, 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 the radio, maybe to, to hear what the a pastor is saying through the radio and, uh, and not to see any form of picture. That is why he said, he said that it transmits audio signal. 
The next is the television. The television also is a common household equipment. The television is a telecommunication medium that is used for transmitting and receiving moving images and sounds. You know, when you look through the, radio, the television, unlike, unlike the radio, whereby you may not see the person that is talking, but coming to television, you will see everything. The images, the, the sounds coming out, and the pictures that you see. Everything is being shown on the television screen, and you can view everything. So the next is the mobile phone. The mobile phone. The mobile phone is a device that can make and receive telephone calls over a radio link while moving around, around a wide geographical area. So, a mobile phone, like the word entails, is something used, is handheld, whereby you can use it wherever you move to. Now, we, this is uh, a picture of some phones that we, we, that we use today. So, you, can, you know what we can use a mobile phone for? You can use it to receive or make some calls. You can also use it to send text messages. We can use a mobile phone to even chat with another person elsewhere, probably using your, uh, the, the, uh, the chat section. We have the, even now we have the WhatsApp that you can make use of. And we have some iPhones. All these things, the, uh, uh, the, like I said, the actual usage of all these icons that you are seeing is majorly for communication. So, the next that I have here is the fax machine. The fax machine. A fax machine can, can be seen in an office, majorly. You see them in the offices. Although it's not a common device today because of the, uh, the introduction of a computer, because the computer has already taken the major aspect whereby of uh, the, the major work of the fax machine. But notwithstanding, it is still very much useful. A fax machine is a communication device that is used to transfer copies of documents over the telephone network. Now, how do you use a fax machine? You use a fax machine by making sure you have, when you have the document that you want to send over the network. This is an example of a user making use of the fax machine. This is the document here that is holding. After you hold the document and place it this way, you can as well type in the number of the fax because you said that it is sent over a telephone network. The document will be sent over a telephone network. Therefore, a fax machine has its own number, which is called fax number. So the number is being typed, and the document can be sent to the next person that is going to receive it over its own fax machine. So to cap it all, uh, we've been able to consider all these examples of ICT-based gadgets that we have here. We have considered the computer, the automated teller machine, the automated cash register, the radio, television, and the fax machine. And with this, this brings us to the end of the lesson for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good day, boys and girls. Yes. It's time for chemistry. Today we are going to have chemistry. And the topic for today is water and solution. Water and solution. We are used to water. But today we are going to look at water in chemical way. 
with perspective on chemistry. 